Hello everyone and welcome back to another NFL video. In this video I'll be giving my exciting report on Kool-Aid McKinstry, so let's get into it. So the corner from Alabama has good size and length. He's a press man corner. He's great in bump and run coverage. He stays patient at the line of scrimmage. Now his athleticism to mirror is good, not great. At times he does get beat deep. His hand fighting is controlled and clean. He had no PIs this season at all. He's good in zone as well. He has good route recognition. He keeps his assignment in front of him. He doesn't panic when the ball is in the air. However, he only has average break on the ball, and his ball skills are pretty average as well. He loses track of the ball when it's in the air. He plays a lot of off hand as well. He does have some choppy footwork on zone drops. His tackling is average. He lacks the willingness to take on contact. He doesn't strip blocks from wide receivers. And he does go low, but he doesn't really wrap up while going low. His overall effort is even a question mark. However, he was a really good communicator for that defense. McKinstry has the traits of a lockdown corner rather than the ball production guy. He doesn't get targeted all too often because of his good technique. However, he doesn't strike me as a high-end athlete and only an average tackler. He's a late first round, maybe early second round guy, who I expect to start soon in his career. Now as for the games I watched, ranked best to worst 5 from this past season, Tennessee, Ole Miss, LSU, Arkansas, and Texas. Now for possible teams, it is a wide range because, as I mentioned, might go in the late first round, might go in the early second round, in my opinion. The first team I got in here is the Rams, I believe 21st overall. Can definitely see them taking a corner. They have not really invested much in that position right now. Have got some solid production, but definitely can use an upgrade. Eagles here, you know, James Bradbury has not worked out uh, since they gave him a nice big contract, so they might look for a replacement here. Then the Buccaneers, who had one of the worst pass defenses in the league, somehow, even with Jamel Dean, uh, Cartland Davis, and Antoine Winfield, did not have a good pass defense this year. Then have the Cardinals, at this point, we're in the second round. The Cardinals do have an early second round pick, and they have a lot of holes, but corner's one of them. They don't really have much at all in that position. So I can definitely see them getting a pretty much instant starter for them. I have the Lions, this is in the first round. The Lions may look to take a corner here. Their past defense was not the best. They struggled to find that good corner two opposite of Cameron Sutton, who even himself didn't have the best season. Lastly, I have the Chargers who pick early in the second round as well. Could definitely see them take a corner here. Uh, the only corner I really trust to start on that team is Sonny Samuel Jr. So they need to get someone else to pair with him. Anyway, that's my Kool-Aid McKinstry scouting report. I'm Arto and thank you for watching.